All right, Polly. so here's the deal. Here's what I'm saying. This little top right here represents the back of the boat. Now, as you see here, it's 3.12 pounds of water, right? Now we have an empty container that's gonna represent our totes, obviously, you know, probably about representative, about halfway size of the uh, tote. So I'm gonna put, the, hold on, hang on one second. Take that, just so we don't make a mess of Jersey's kitchen. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna submerge it, I'm gonna get all the all the air out of it completely. Go, all right? And I'm just gonna take a hose, oh. hose and our compressor. And that's, that's filled, all right? Just filled up there. Now, let's see how much water we've displaced. So it's one pound of water. So essentially a third of the water is, a third of the weight is displaced just by some simple air. So even though you have 2,000 pounds of flotation, wouldn't it be nice to make your the thing you're lifting one or two thirds the weight? So, anyways, that's my point. Is we need to displace the water by by submerging some totes, filling them up with air, and so that way that we're creating air pockets as big as air pockets as possible across the back of the boat. You know, putting your totes in all across here, strapping them down, and then filling them up with air, and that way we've got. Uh, you know we displace as much water back here as possible now with the bow of the boat we're going to fill those things with freaking water balloons or beach balls or anything we can get our hands on freaking rubber duckies it doesn't matter all right shut off man.